Hi guys, um, it's Sylvia here at Tandy Art. Welcome to my uh, new series of videos about uh, using my collage sheets. Uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, but I have an Etsy shop where you can buy um, collage sheets uh, which I make out of my paintings, out of my art journal pages, uh, they're super colorful, they're very cute, easy to use, but sometimes you might find yourself that you, or you, you got it because they look cute and you don't know what to do with them, how to use them, so I will try to record good few videos of different projects, how can you use them so you can put them in use. So this is, most of them they're downloadable, so basically if you order them on Etsy, once you pay, they will be uh, available to download from the order. So you download them yourself. However, I will have two packs, maybe, I think for now, uh, which they are already, I printed them on high quality printing paper, uh, matte paper, uh, I think it's 200 grams paper, uh, because I, I just got some uh, questions about that as not everybody has the printer. So some of them, that's one pack uh, which I added recently to the shop. They, there is so many potential <laughs> with those. Um, so I will try to use them, uh, show, to you, show, show you how to use them. Today we'll do a little journal spread and I show you how easy you can break the blank page and um, excuse me, I have a bit of cold and just fun to use it in your journal. I will use the old book because I love using them. They already have some print on it so it's not really blank, <laughs> which that helps as well. And I think I will use one of the smaller ones. You know you can print them in black and white, you can print them in your printer, set the setting to print, let's say, four on one page, so they'll be small. Um, so I will use this, because it's a bit smaller for that book. So I'll cut them out, and I cut out some elements from this sheet only, and i show you how to use it, because this sheet is available by itself as well, okay? So I have my elements. I didn't even use the whole sheet. I literally used half of it, I think. I cut out the house, the girl, some scallops. I love scallops. And you can tear the pieces. And literally, you could see it's already um, coming up like as, as a little painting. And you don't need much medium to use here, which is brilliant. So I grab some paints and some crayons and we play a bit. For this project I will use, let's say, let's limit ourselves with three paints. This is Impasto from uh, Prima, and that's the um, Finbar line, and I have heavy gesso to use for uh, gluing, oh heavy gesso, as well with the paints and 3D gloss gel for uh, gluing. So what I do is, I put a little bit of gesso, tiny bit, and I use my catalyst wedge to kind of spread it to give a little bit of a little bit of color. I like that gesso as it is creamy and not too thick for the background. And then I will add a bit of paint. Okay. Love this. This is mint which is well, one of, of course, my favorite colors. And it goes, so I'll use the paints, which goes really with, with, the, with, the, um, with my collage pictures. Then I will use, it's a burlap. I love this color from Finbar's line. It's like a brownish thing. Once you use Catalyst Wet, you can use brushes, of course. It kind of gives this scratchy look, which I love. Okay, and a little bit of linen. It's kind of beige, light beige. Okay, so that's it. I won't be using much more me um, paint. Just want to show you, simple and easy. What I do is now, I will do my composition. I also got some pieces of paper 
lying around my desk. I have a whole basket of scraps which I use. Little doily. So I want to glue them down. I will use that 3D gloss. You can imagine matte, matte medium. You can use Mod Podge. Whatever you have on hand, really. I want you to play, not to overthink. My style is very play, play, playful. Oh my god, my life. I am a bit, bit sick, so <laughs> I can't speak properly today. Maybe because I had sleepless, sleepless nights because of my kids having running noses and coughing and waking each other up. Yay. Okay. So, slowly and surely, uh, I want to place that girl too here. You see, I use my hands because I love, you know, use the gloves, use the... Because I love the texture. I love to feel everything what I do with my hands. <laughs> um, I lift his leg a bit, or hers, sorry. <laughs> sorry, girl. Um, mm -mm. Yeah. Literally as simple as this. Just playing with composition. Don't overthink it. Look, it's only a few minutes and journal is already taking the shape. They have loads of um, texture. You see, that's my journal pages. So they already so simple and it's not cheating no 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 <laughs> um, bit lower I might actually do this with these and very often I also use the stapler as it gives gives those little metal stitches and it holds it in place before I glue it Other bits and pieces here which I love to add okay after that we still will add some other bits and pieces And a little sun with a cloud and look it's already looking really pretty very very magical just give a little little just tiny bit so I can use um, crayons on it so what I use is, I'll use the Caran Dash stars a bit, just to scribble, just to add this color from the pieces. So it doesn't have to be paint. Yeah. Doesn't have to be paint. And a little bit of that mint. I'm loving it. Little cute. Brave soul. <laughs> and the last one, so this is very, very quick. I will add some doodling with the pen. I'm using, this is actually the Ranger ink, like a doodling pen. Because I, I think um, adding a bit of uh, black lines, it just gives that pop. So I will add a bit of to her eyes. You can still 
kind of doodle and paint on those collages. You know that, of course, right? <laughs> little, excuse me, my nose. <laughs> okay. And the last one will be stamps. I will use the stamps uh, I designed for AB Studio. This one will be like a cloud because there are some clouds. I'm using the and I love this one. It's a little scale up, but it's really really cute in kind of design. And stitches, that's from AP Studio. What else do I have here? Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe little clouds again. Super cute. I will at the last I will add some splashes with white. This is for um, actually it's you put like a little fine liner applicator, you put white paint inside, acrylic with water, and um, it's really cute. And you can write with it. Or you can make really cute splashes with this. Okay. So look, few minutes and our page is ready. Ta-da! Okay, give it a try. Uh, check my Instagram, Tandyart, hashtag Tandyart design, hashtag Tandyart tag me and I'll try to share the artwork of the people um, who are inspired by my art. I love that. If you have any questions, just let me know. Okay, bye-bye.